Okay, so the question is, how do I find the correct value for my capacitor here at the output of the master stage so that the high pass cutoff frequency is around 40 Hertz? Let's say I can't do the math and I'd rather use a simulation instead. I'm going to do a performance analysis that will avoid me the hassle to test every possible capacitor value. To do so, I'm first adding a new parameter that I'm naming C out, and I'm assigning this parameter to the capacitor value in the schematic. Now, in the simulation profile, I want an AC sweep simulation with a rather large frequency bound, um, as well as a parametric sweep. As I'm not sure of the value that yields uh, the wanted cutoff frequency, I'm sweeping logarithmically from a small 1 nanofarad up to large 1 millifarad with 10 points per decade. When plotting both plots, I can see that the correct value is indeed in this range, but I'd like to focus on a narrow range to find a precise value. So let's do a performance analysis then that will plot the high pass cutoff frequency at minus 3 decibels for each parameter value, that is, for each capacitor candidate. If I zoom in on the graph, I see that low capacitor values yield way too high frequencies, and I can just reject them in a refined version of the simulation profile. By doing the same operation once more, that is, zooming in on the graph and narrowing the simulation range, I can use cursor to find an appropriate capacitor value that is in my case around 177 microfarad. Setting this value in the schematic, I can confirm that this capacitor indeed forms a high pass filter at the output of the amplifier stage with a cutoff frequency of about 40 Hz. And all this without having to lay down signal frequency response equation. Great.